We came to Tunbridge Wells about 18 months ago to record this video and since then we've had no end of comments telling us what we missed and what we need to come back and do. So uh, we've come back. It's a lot colder today than it was then. Oh, but first, coffee. <laughs> So this is one of the things that we were told we should have seen last time and I don't know really how we missed it. I don't know how we missed it. We literally walked through here. Yeah, and that. then the whole pan tiles is behind us. We walked all the way up here, but we did not see this, which is the Chalabit Chal 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 Spring. No, but it says you can purchase the famous water. Yeah, here. they've even got vending machines of the water over there, which you can buy probably for a price. But this is the whole reason Tunbridge Wells exists, because it's the natural spring that produced the water that made this a spa town. Ah. And a destination for all the hooty tooties and the royals. <laughs> We've seen it now. Seen it. Coffee. Coffee. Luckily for us, right opposite the spring is a place called The Buzz. Cheers. Cheers. I'm intrigued as to what this is. It says oat and carabob. I think carabob is some sort of seed, right? It smells really good. Oh, very crumbly as well. Always tastes better when it's free as well, including with your coffee. <laughs> oh yes, look at that. Looks delicious. It looks amazing. Bacon, sausage, egg, but with a very bougie twist. It's got like a Greek twist to it, and it's a... Oh, what's that? That's cute. That is cute. A little bead on top of the sandwich. We are in Tunbridge Wells after all. It's, it's not edible, by the way. Oh, no, I wasn't going to try it. Okay, that was incredible. I think it was like fennel and stuff. Sorry. No, no, you're good. <laughs> okay, that was incredible. I think the Greek twist on that roll. Oh my God, it was delicious. It was, it was delicious. And it, that bacon, they cooked it to perfection. And it was so. like a Greek sausage. So it was really herby and like fennelly and stuff. And the fennelly. bread, fennelly. What kind of English is that? It's really bad it's English. <laughs> but it was like dripping with olive oil on the bread as well. I can see why it's called the sunshine bath now because I feel like I've come out of there with a Mediterranean glow. And I didn't get any down my trousers. You didn't. I'm proud of myself. Also, we really appreciate the theme in there. It's called the buzz and there's little bee decorations everywhere. It's cute. It really was the buzz. <laughs> also, Josh really wants to stay at this Smith and Western hotel and eat in the restaurant. So if anyone's done that, leave it in the comments and let us know if it's any good. I think it'll be fun. Anyway, what we're going to do next is by far the most suggested thing to do here in Tunbridge Wells by all of you. But the comments also let us know there's a rather interesting way to get there. This is kind of cool. You can come into the train shed. This is where they work on all of them. Look at this massive engine. Oh my God. This is cool. You can just wander in here for free. I oh know, I like this. I'm feeling old. <laughs> that one's called ugly. That's Excuse not very me? fair, is it? Bloody cheek. <laughs> I wonder if that is the train that is about to take us to our next destination. Well, I'm assuming so. They're obviously warming her up or... I need warming up, it's freezing. <laughs> I was just saying to Jason, it feels like we're somewhere really far away, but we're really not far away at all. And where we're going isn't that far away either, because it's only seven minutes each way on the train. <laughs> I know. Did you say how much this cost? Ten pounds return, £10 return each. Return. That's not bad. And the tickets. Proper. Look pretty cool. Paper tickets. So we get to keep them and put them in our little travel box. Yeah. I like that. Like a little souvenir. Do you want to do some weights while you're here? Ooh, I reckon I could... Uh, Lift that, no steam power required. I've just had that sunshine back, baby. No, steam power coming out of that end, that's for sure. <laughs> the size of them bad boys. It looks a lot bigger than the one that's out there getting ready to date. I don't up. think it is, I think it's just we're up close. further away, yeah, yeah. Jason, get on, take photo. <laughs> Absolutely not, I get kicked off before I've even got on the train. Well, it brings me back my youth. <laughs> what, steam trains? No, I remember. <laughs> You're not that my, old. My name brought me like, I can't remember what they're called, it's like a little steam train car thing. I don't, I don't know what it was. You basically put stuff in it and it steams, runs by the steam and moves. Still oh, I know it? what you mean, like steam. the old steamroller thing. Yes, the yes. Body. Oh, somewhere, excuse me. <laughs> Oh, 
oh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be. <laughs> All aboard. <laughs> All aboard. Cool, blimey. Them do train doors bring back memories. Oh, do you remember oh. when you used to hang your head out the window? Yep. <laughs> you used to have to really slam them as well. Oh, yeah. Like I didn't, I failed. Hang on. <laughs> But the train heating is on. It's That's fine. Right. Wow, this is vintage. Look at this. You definitely don't get padding on today's trains like you do on these seats. You do not. We literally sunk into them. <laughs> also, the train's not the only one steaming. <laughs> he, did, he did say it will warm up as soon as we get going. I don't care. This is fun. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Great impression. <laughs> There's a little fox. Oh. <laughs> Didn't know, it's this, off. didn't know this was a safari as well. <laughs> the ticket man's even just come round to check the ticket and and he still clips it with the little paper clipper thing. But it's a Christmas tree shape. <laughs> it's not Christmas anymore. No, it's not. But it's fine. <laughs> this is our stop. Let's go. Short and sweet. <laughs> Slam it. No, you've got to slam it. Slam it. Open it. Slam it. It's old school now, boy. There we go. There we go. <laughs> She's off. See you later. Well, I always see it later anyway because it's a long walk back without yeah. it. <laughs> it's weird looking at it going backwards. I think, yeah, it's being pulled by a diesel engine at the other end at the minute, then a steam train this end. Sorry. <laughs> the fog. The fog. It's kind of like a scary movie. Oh, there's always a scary movie involved. <laughs> anyway, we've made it to our first destination. That was really eerie, that steam from the train. Yeah. Not, not missed. We've made it to High Rocks National Monument. It's really this, busy. This is the place that by far people recommended for us to come. Oh yeah, loads of people. And I'm pretty so. sure they've got a cafe and I know we've only just had breakfast, but I am so cold, I need a hot drink. I'm even hot thinking drink. I might have to get a hot chocolate. Do you know what I was about to say hot chocolate. <laughs> Let's go and see if it's open. That's well, crazy. It's open because the train doesn't stop here if it's not open. No. But so, I'm in the cafe. Anyway, let's get on with it. Oh, definitely time to warm up by the radio. Oh, it's so nice. Got a coffee as well. Just to warm my hands, if nothing else, I'm frozen. We decided to go for a latte instead. Oh, that's all. <laughs> that is all. But we're in the High Rocks Inn at the moment, which is where we've got our coffee. But this place is cool. Look at this. It's so old with all the old wooden beams and stuff. Definitely very quirky. Nice way to start, I like it. Well, we've warmed up now, that coffee was brilliant. And the staff in there are really friendly. He was telling us all about the building built in 1839 and where we were sitting used to just be a cellar and the toilets. Now it's a winter haven of radiators and frothy coffee, which was much welcome. But you can actually see the original steps from 1839 in like a, behind like a window, the stone stairs up. But, time for the main attraction. Sorry, Bush. <laughs> we've got more paper tickets to go. More souvenirs to the High Rocks National Monument. We've been given a map, he's given us all the information that we need. It's time for the adventure to begin. Fun fact for you, I've only just seen a picture of what this place is gonna look like. Never seen it before. That's part of the adventure. That's part of the adventure. So obviously we knew we were doing this and I didn't really wanna look at any pictures because I like to be surprised. Never to be said unto your shame that here was beauty until you nope. came. <laughs> That all was beauty I till tried. here you came. I, that was close enough. You come close. on, I'm cold. Well done. Everybody give this video a like just to... Give me a clap. Round of applause. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> nice bouquet. <laughs> if you didn't guess, they do weddings. <laughs> <sighs> Not on a day like today. <laughs> well... I think it's quite easy to see why this place is called High Rocks. That's some big rocks. That is a pretty big rock. Also, there's a whole walkway along the top and there's loads of these bridges that we can go and walk over. But I think we're gonna do the lower path first. Yes. Which kind of walks in amongst the rocks, in like amongst. this bit, and then, and then we, can we can go up there afterwards. Walk on top of them. Yeah, get a view. I like that. Okay, this place is really cool. Look at this, you can just walk in like the gorges and stuff. There's all these little staircases and things going off. It's like a maze in between the rocks. How did we not know this existed until people told us about it? 
I don't know if I've said this to the camera, but it feels like we are somewhere far away. You from said that when we were about to get on the train. Where we live. <laughs> But it feels like we're up north somewhere. It does. It feels like we've been somewhere like this before. We Hawks did. We, Hawkstone Park, Park in Shropshire. Yeah, I mean, That's it was on a much thinking. bigger scale than this, but this is so cool. I like it. And it feels like we're the only ones in here. Yeah. Two, two other people did buy two tickets from the bar. Did buy tickets. So we think they're in here somewhere. Hopefully they're friendly. <laughs> Hopefully, well they were talking about, was it Cluedo? Playing Cluedo, did you murder me in the bar? Yeah, that's on like, isn't it? I was like, <laughs> what kind of bar is this? It literally is, because if you think about it... Sorry, <laughs> I was just enjoying kicking the leaves. <laughs> it literally is like Hawkstone Park, because you walk through here and then the bridge is over it. I just, didn't even see that bridge up there. Just like... Now you can get a better look at the sort of bridge we've got right... Is that... Is the bottom of that, like, see-through? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Good job I'm not afraid of heights. I am. Oh, yeah, well, that is a yes. The bottom of that bridge is definitely see-through. Dun, dun, dun. That wood's strong, I know. <laughs> they should lost a little bit of weight after Christmas. That's true, but... Ooh. Is it just me, or does that big rock look like a dum-dum face? Like, Hello. there's the nose, there, and then it's got, like, a puckered set of lips sticking out, down to the chin, and he's got a massive forehead with a big eyebrow. Comment down below if you can see that. You can see that, right? Kind of. Also, I can hear the steam train. I was I can hear a steam train. Oh, we missed the one back. Damn. That means we're going to have to go in the bar in the High Rocks Inn again. Damn. Damn it. <laughs> That explains why we could hear the train. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at the way these tree roots are literally clinging to this rock. It's like it's holding on for dear life. Oh, oh, I don't want to fall off the end of the high rocks. That's what I imagine that tree would sound like. Now you wouldn't think it from looking at this, but we are actually on top of the rocks now, and it looks like you're just on a normal landscape, yep. but the edge of the rocks is just over there. It's quite a tumble. Just seeing the bridge. Literally through that tree there. I think it's the one we just looked at. I think it is the really high one where you can see through the bottom. Also, I'm really out of breath walking up them steps. <laughs> Nobody laughs. It's the cold, it's the cold air. It's That's the freezing doing it. cold. I'm just, or I'm just getting old. You first. It looks very mossy and like it's gonna fall apart. Well, it looks stable. You sure? Oh, it looks even higher up here. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yep. You can definitely see all the way through. Oh my God. Nope. <laughs> Oh, hi. It's a lot higher. Oh, that bridge moved as you walked off it. We were literally just down there. You're right, though. It does look so much higher up here. It does. I tried taking a picture, but you just can't. You just can't see it. This bridge looks a little older. Little I'm sure older. I read online there's 11 bridges in total. 11? 11. Oh Hi. <laughs> Who am I making sweat? <laughs> Comment down below. Very close. The guy in the bar did say to us, don't push each other when you're at the top of the rocks because that will be the end. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end. Sing along. <laughs> <laughs> That's a song. <laughs> but uh, Adele, Adele, uh, do, 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 do. This is the end. Oh, Skyfall. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, blimey. Yeah, these ones don't feel so stable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no. I think it's just a, a psychological thing because it looks older. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> well, these are a lot stronger by the looks of it. Oh, well, there's oh, another rickety old wooden one. This is where all the 11 bridges are. They're all together. <laughs> yeah. We're not going on a trip just yet. <laughs> So the guy in the pub was telling us there used to be an alpine hut up here and you can still see some of the remnants of it. You can see the brick foundations there. And then if you look very closely, there's a line here and then there's one this side here. That would have been the roof of the alpine hut. That would have been nice. They could have served like hot chocolates and stuff on a that cold would day. Been, Wouldn't that go down really nicely? It would have been really nice. Anyway, this place has been a big surprise. It's a lot bigger than I expected. It is. It's a little bit of a workout. And we've got a little bit of a wait till the train back now. So, uh, pub? Pub.
as the Spa Valley Railway takes us back into Tunbridge Wells, why not check out the video on screen now as we explore some of the countryside in the surrounding area, including the area's iconic Fairy Tale Castle. We'll see you over there. Oh.